Yo mina san and welcome back to Kanji Stories, the show where every single day I try to break down a Japanese kanji and help you understand the Japanese language. Today we're talking about the symbol that means energy. Now this energy is kind of a general version of energy. It could be energy such as what you hear in comic books like ki energy or chakura. That, that is going to be an energy there. It could be a thing that you use, for example, energy in your walls like electricity. Or it could be energy throughout the universe. All of these energies are going to be represented with this symbol here. Now this symbol is read a number of ways has three main readings. However, the number one reading that's going to be used 95% of the time is key. Key. So when you see the symbol, think key. If it's anything else, you're going to learn it in context. Think key when you see this symbol. Now, how do I memorize this symbol? It has just two things going on. The first thing that has going on is this, uh, this down here is rice. Okay. Back in the day, this was simplified to be a little bit easier to write as the symbol for rice is a little more difficult. So see this as rice. Now above it here we have steam or a vapor coming off of the rice and so I tend to think of things like Dragon Ball where they kind of have like energy coming off them or Luffy even where he has steam coming off of him when he's going into gear second. Now with that being said we have some common words. Common words like genki. Piyasu o genki desu ka? How are you? Genki here in this case is well. O genki desu ka? Hai genki desu yo. The next one we have here is being sick. Byoki. Byoki. Byoki is a sickness. So you have pain, this over pain, this over energy. And so you have that thing that bad, painful energy inside of you is going to be sickness. And lastly, we have a part of energy, which is a feeling. Just a small snippet is how you're feeling. A bad feeling in the air, you could say, is a warui kibun. Okay? So with that in mind, here's the symbol, and this is how honestly I think about it. I just simply think of like tr uh, anybody using kame, kame, ha what have you. So when you think of this in mind, think of the energy blasting out in this symbol here. It looks really cool in my opinion. I don't know. I'm trying guys. With that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, it takes 10,000 mistakes to become fluent in Japanese. Therefore, let's make some mistakes and I will see you tomorrow. Till then, Johnny.